Hey guys, I wanted to show you a uh, quick tip that I learned while trying to use the voice memos feature on the new iPhone 3GS. Um, they make it a little bit complicated if you want to go ahead and record a voice memo. Well, let me let me walk you through the process. I went to a comedy show and I wanted to record it, so I used this, and the quality actually was really really good. But when I wanted to listen back to uh, the the quality, I'm sorry, when I wanted to listen back to the to the show um, in my car, I had a little bit of problems and uh, I kept having to go through here, uh, the voice memos app, to listen to it and that was a little bit un uh, inconvenient, didn't show up in my um, my music and when I connected it to my computer, um, you could see it in my music as far as when you looked at the, fi uh, the file names and stuff, but it didn't actually show up um, and what happens when you connect and sync for the first time after your new memos in your phone, it sends it to your computer and to your music library. And then if I tried to then drag it from my music library to my, com to my phone, I still didn't, uh, I still didn't get, um, I still wasn't able to, to play the audio in my music, which is kind of like a weird no brainer. Like, why doesn't this work? Why, you know, I, I'm a little unclear as to why it's, it's like this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can, can uh, get it working. So I've already started recording this, just a little bit of me talking. Uh, let's go ahead I and get, uh, uh, I still wasn't able stop. To, to play. Okay. So there we go. I just made a recording. Um, so I want to get it to show up on my computer. So with it plugged in, it's plugged in right now. I'm just going to go ahead and perform a normal sync just like you usually would. And while it's syncing, it's going to end up sending uh the voice memo over to my computer and my music and let me go here. And click into my music. It should be uh okay, it's done. And you gotta look for zoom in a little bit better. So there it is. When it shows up in your computer, it shows up uh the date you recorded it and the time you started recording. So that's how you're going to locate it on your muse in uh, your library. So just to make things easier, I'm going to go ahead and rename it test testing. Okay, should be good. Let's go ahead and also edit the artist. So it's also just a little bit easier to find. Let's go ahead and type in Okay. Oh, spelled my own screen name wrong, but whatever. Okay. So now the next step. After you've got this, I can't drag this file into my phone and then just have it work. Uh which is like I said, a no-brainer it should just show up in my music. What I end up having to do for Mac is create AAC version. I'm not exactly sure if this process is different for Windows users. Um, if you're on Windows, you might have to just create a MP3 version or a, I don't know, they give you a little bit more options and with iTunes and Windows. But in our case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to hit create AAC version. It did it really quick. Now remember, this one that's highlighted was the original one. I don't need it anymore, so I'm going to delete it. Uh, remove. Sorry about the shaky camera. Okay. So there we go. There's my uh, AAC version. Now, the... The voice memo actually is an AAC, but there's something preventing it from showing up in my music. So doing this actually will let it 
show up in my music. So I'm going to sync back up, send it over, and okay, that's it. Now I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to go into my music. And let's see here, the name of the song, or we named it Testing, so let's go to the T's. Sorry, don't know my alphabet. Uh, testing. There it is right there, with my misspelled screen name. I still didn't get, um, I still wasn't able to, to play the art. So, the, you know, you can go ahead and add artwork if you want. I did with the, I, I recorded a comedy show and I went ahead and put the, the comedian um, for the artwork on the, uh, on, the, on the file. And so everything shows up pretty nice. Looks just like uh, a really, you know, legit MP3 file or AAC file with artwork and everything. And actually, I, I got to tell you guys, the the quality that I got out of this thing was freaking superb. I, I really did not expect it to be as good as it was. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it really sounded really well. And, and uh, I really just can't say enough about this voice memo app now. Um, now that I've actually gotten it to work and, and sync with my music. So hopefully with updates they fix it so it doesn't you don't have to go through this shitty process. But, um... Uh, you know, it's better than nothing, and this voice memo app is really, really good. Um, so, anyways, happy recording, you guys.